Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. I made my coffee for this morning, and this morning I used, of course, my Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I do buy these at Costco. I get tons of questions, but I do have these linked in my Amazon store as well if you're not a member of Costco. And then I have one point's worth of the Organic Valley Sweet Cream Creamer, which is one of my very favorites. I put it here in my pretty little mason jar with some ice and a little bit of filtered water, and it's a one Smart Point iced coffee, and it is delicious. So that is what I'm having this morning for my coffee. Hey, guys. Happy Wednesday. I forgot to film making my coffee, so I thought I'd pop on really quick and say hello. Wish you guys a fantastic Wednesday. Of course, this is another What I Eat Wednesday, so you're going to see my food throughout the entire day today. We're gonna show Diesel and Lola. I have an impromptu grocery haul where I found some amazing new things. There's so much fun waiting for you in today's video. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Someone is really cozy. Hi, babe. You look like a human with your head on mommy's pillow. I covered you up with the sheets. I'm trying to wash the bedding, so she's only got sheets left. The rest is in the wash. But she's as cozy as can be, aren't you? I love you. Look at that big grin on her face. Hey guys, I thought I'd show you me putting my breakfast together this morning rather than just showing you the completed. This is a sweet oatmeal bowl, I guess you would call it. So I have one cup of rolled oats that I just cooked in my microwave with about three quarters of a cup of water. I'm going to add two packets of the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener, and that's just going to help sweeten up my oats a little bit more and be zero smart points. Sometimes I like to add maple syrup, but I'm putting a lot of pointed toppings on my oatmeal. So that's a good way to say points um, and skip the point for the maple syrup and just use some sugar alternative. So I mix that in really, really well. I'm going to add 1 8 of a cup of this Maple Hill full fat Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna put that kind of right on top. And that's gonna make my oats nice and creamy. And then of course I have my chia seeds, which is another one of my very favorite things to top my oats with. So I'm going to do one Smart Point worth of chia seeds. Kind of add that along the side. And then I'm also, for a little added crunch, a little extra protein, going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of these pumpkin seeds as well. And that again is just going to add a nice crunch, give me a little extra bit of protein. And then I'm going to top it with some fresh fruit. So I have some organic raspberries. Look at how great these raspberries look. So this is going to just enhance the sweetness as well of my bowl by just adding on some sweet fruit. So there's some raspberries. And I'm also going to add some organic blueberries. Put a good amount of those on there too. And then we stir this together and we have an amazing filling, clean eating breakfast. Doesn't this look so good? And then literally I just stir it all together. Mix those chia seeds, the yogurt. The yogurt makes it nice and creamy. And then the berries just add a really nice flavor. And the chia seeds and pumpkin seeds add a good texture, but also give you a really good dose of nutritional benefit. So my bowl is four smart points for the yogurt, one smart point for the chia seeds, one smart po point for the pumpkin seeds, and one point for the yogurt. So this is seven smart points. Tori Bell is here. I placed a pretty big order. I wanted to grab some lashes. So I went ahead and picked up a kit that actually came with lashes the shadow, the lip gloss, and a liner, which is really, really cool. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. So in that kit, I went ahead and picked up the selfie lashes. Now these are right up my alley. These are much more of a dramatic lash. As you can see, they're really bold, really, really long. I think they're really pretty. These little bits at the bottom, these are called anchors. So what you can do is you can add these under your natural lash and it anchors your lashes even better and gives you a little bit extra volume so you can see they have lashes on them as well so i am so excited about these so these as well as this shadow palette which is gorgeous this is called space out show this to you guys look at these colors this came as part of that kit as well I love these. So if you guys wanna see me do a get ready with me and use this palette, let me know, but I am super excited about this. 
It also came with this lip color. So this is how it comes packaged. So this is the color I chose. It's Velvet Kisses. It's this really pretty red super excited about this. I'll pop in a picture and show you guys what it looks like with me wearing it. So that came in there as well. And I also got a liner. So this is how the liner comes packaged. And this is the liner itself. And I want to show you guys how thin the liner is because it goes on so awesome. Look at how thin the actual liner brush is. You don't get any clumps or bulky lines. It's amazing. So this is the magnetic liner. It lasts forever. And again, it comes in this package here. Separately, I bought the date night lashes. These are the date night. So they're full lashes, but they're a little more natural looking than the selfie lashes. And again, it comes with anchors. So I did the bundle where I bought the lashes and a liner. And that's why I actually have two of the liners. So you guys have to pick up Tori Bell. Seriously, best lashes. And what I like too, is it comes with this cute little card here that tells you how to use the liner, how to use the anchors, which are those little extra pieces that you can attach for more volume and to hold your lashes on. And then on the back, even troubleshooting ideas. So they give you all the instructions and everything that you need. I have a link for Tori Bell down below. Highly recommend that you guys check these out if you are looking for some lashes. They have tons of natural lashes, the more vibrant lashes, whatever you're after. But I'm literally obsessed. All right, my friends, here is my lunch for today. I'm stoked for this. So first over here, I have four of the Trader Joe's Jicama wraps. These are zero smart points. These are phenomenal. This is my second pack and I'm almost out of them. They are so delicious. They are crispy and crunchy. You can see they're really, really pliable. So they literally are like a soft taco shell for zero smart points. I love them with tacos. I love them making a little like turkey wrap like I did here. So if you can get your hands on these at your local Trader Joe's, highly, highly recommend. I also have one point worth of the Chosen Foods Avocado Oil Mayonnaise, and I went ahead and spread that out over all of the four shells. So it's literally less than a tablespoon over the four shells. And then I have zero points worth, because this is zero points, but I have one serving, which is two slices. I always try to stay as close as I can to the serving size of zero point foods. So I have two slices of the Trader Joe's Organic Oven Roasted Turkey Breast, and I just ripped each slice in half topped it with some arugula, and then I fold this up, and I literally have like a, four little turkey wraps. Such a fantastic, I love these. Whoever thought of these, A+. Plus. And then I have a salad. So we had this salad for dinner last night, and this is what was left over. So this is quite a big salad. But basically, it's baby greens, arugula, cucumbers, green onions. I put in a little bit of fresh basil, which is an amazing thing to add to salad. So I have some of that. I have a few strawberries, blueberries, and then I have two points worth of the Trader Joe's feta cheese. And the dressing I used today is the Chosen Foods Orange Balsamic. This is just really good with a salad with fruit in it. I don't know. I just was feeling this. I didn't feel like making it my own dressing. So I used two points worth of this. So it's two tablespoons for 80 calories. So I have two points in my dressing, two points in my feta, which is four points. I have one point worth of Chosen Foods avocado mayo. So this entire lunch, you guys, is five smart points. So for dessert, I guess from lunch, I'm going to have one of my pieces of zucchini bread that I made in meal prep. You guys, this zucchini bread is so delicious. It's better than full fat, really point heavy zucchini bread. It's so good. It's clean. It's healthy. The recipe is on my website and was featured in meal prep posted on Monday. If you want to go back and watch how I made the bread, but it's five smart points per slice. I'm doing really good on points today. I really wanted some zucchini bread. It doesn't even need butter. It's that good. So this is my five smart point snack slash dessert from lunch. All right, my friends, look at this. This is the aftermath of making breakfast and meal prepping. There's dishes everywhere. My stove is filthy dirty. So don't let anyone tell you that there isn't a lot of cleanup involved in meal prep, but let's get this dirty kitchen cleaned up and sparkling and clean. So it took a little bit to get everything nice and clean, but look, my stove is clean and my sink is clean and everything is set for the rest of the day. So voila, clean kitchen. So here is a mini Target haul. I've actually never grocery shopped at Target and I went to get a new utensil holder and I thought, well, why the heck, since I'm here, I'm gonna see what they have. You guys, I'm impressed. 
Way to go Target on your organic section. So I picked up just a few things. I found some new things and I'll definitely put on the screen what I think of them because by the time you see this video, I would have tried them all. So let's jump into my little mini Target haul. These party little bites, I cannot find these anywhere. I tried Walmart, I tried Rosars, Fred Meyer. So I saw them at Target and I went ahead and picked up two boxes. You guys know my husband loves these. These are actually for him. I don't eat these but he loves them. So I grabbed two boxes and then I actually found organic all-purpose flour at Target. I have been unable to find all-purpose, just regular flour that's organic. And I just spotted this and I snatched it right up. So now I know where I can go to pick up flour if I don't order it from Thrive. Thrive is a little less expensive, but in a pinch, I'm really excited that I was able to find that at Target. And then I found these pizza crusts, which another thing I'm really excited about, these are the Good and Gather Organics. These are the ultra thin pizza crusts. They actually have really good ingredients. They have the high oleic sunflower oil, which is awesome, which is a much better version of oil. So I was excited about that. Everything's organic. You can have one third of the crust for 150 calories or the entire crust for 440. And I'll put the points here on the screen. So I mean, a third of this crust for 150 calories, which is probably four points is a great deal. So I was excited about that. Picked up my favorite chocolate chips, way cheaper at Target than anywhere else. Um, I think Target and Thrive, the prices are similar. Speaking of Thrive, you guys, there's a link down below for $20 worth of free product when you join Thrive. So just so you know, there's a great deal going on on the Thrive market. But $4.99 for the Enjoy Life. Again, you guys, these have fantastic ingredients. There's literally four in the entire bag of chocolate chips. They have none of the allergens, and I believe it's three smart points for a tablespoon, but of course, it'll be here on the screen. Went ahead and grabbed the Natural Bliss Whipped Buttercream. I don't love Natural Bliss because it has natural flavor, but sometimes I just want whipped buttercream creamer. This is my favorite one. So this is where that 90-10 falls in. 90% clean eating, 10% my favorite things. This is one of those 10%. So I bought this, it'll last forever. I probably only drink it once a week. I'll sub out my Laird or my Organic Valley, which are much better options for creamer, but you know, you gotta live a little. So this is a new thing. I've actually never heard of this brand. This is called Partake. Simple, wholesome, and delicious. These are birthday cake cookies. I had um, one of these on the way home. These are so good, you guys. They're top eight allergen free, vegan and gluten free. You can have three cookies for the smart points, which I don't know what that is, but they have fantastic ingredients and everything in here that needs to be organic is organic. So I was excited about these. They had a couple other flavors, so I'll definitely be repurchasing these and maybe try some of the other flavors. These are for my husband. He loves waffles and they were like $1.29, which is a steal. Here's another new thing for me um, are the Lara Bar Minis. So this is the apple pie and cookie, or I'm sorry, cashew cookie. So there's five of each bar in here. They're only 100 calories. I'm sure they're going to be high in points because um, of the natural sugar because there's zero added sugar in these, you guys. It's dates, almonds, apples, walnuts, raisins, and cinnamon. Yeah, and cashew one is literally cashews and dates. Clean as clean can be. I'll take the points for it to have a clean bar. And I'd never seen the mini, so I was excited about that. Got some olives so that we can make the pizza. We love olives, and these are three little mini cans, so got those. Also some blue cheese. Since I wasn't able to find these grocery shopping, I wanted blue cheese for a wedge salad recipe. Here's a new item. This is the Simply Balanced Cultivated Wild Rice. So this is in the little pack you throw in the microwave. Normally these contain oil. This one does not. It's literally just the wild rice and water. So I was excited to try that. Wild rice is one of the best rices that you can have. So I am excited to try this for sure. This would be zero points on the purple plan as well, you guys. And cheese. Cheese was a killer price at Target for organic cheese. So I grabbed some Good and Gather organic Colby Jack slices. This is my husband's favorite cheese. And then I grabbed the Colby Jack shredded. 100 calories for this and only $2.59. You guys, that is such a good deal for organic cheese. I can't even believe it. So I grabbed that. 
And here's another new find, which I about died when I saw this. There was also brownie batter. This is dessert hummus by Delighted By. This is the Snickerdoodle cookie. So the ingredients in this, you guys, are exceptional. No, it's 60 calories for two tablespoons, which again, I don't know what that equals out to in points, but it'll be here on the screen. Everything in here is organic. It is made with turbinado sugar, which is really similar to regular sugar. I wish it would have been different. It may be coconut sugar, but all in all, this is really good ingredients. It's non-GMO. I'm so excited. I'll let you guys know on the screen how this is, but if I like this, I may pick up the brownie batter. And this is what I went to Target for, which is just a new utensil holder dark gray to match with my new appliances. So that is my little Target haul. How fun. Hey guys, I wanna come on really quick and show you my new shirt. Remember I bought that really, really cute coffee over cardio baseball tee? Well, I love that shirt so much and I've heard that their t-shirts are so soft and they are. I had to buy another shirt. Look at this, coffee on the rocks. Isn't that seriously? the cutest so i went ahead and picked this up with my last coffee over cardio order i also ordered some more coffee so let me flip you around show you the coffee that i ordered so this time i picked up the birthday cake oh my goodness this coffee is so good it's just as good as the french toast one i'm obsessed you guys i love coffee over cardio i love bones but coffee over cardio is so much better the coffee is a lot less bitter a lot more flavorful i'm so excited and you guys have to see they always have these cute little sayings on the bags i eat cake because it's somebody's birthday somewhere i love that and i love cake of course so this coffee seriously is amazing and i'm just having it in my little just a girl boss building her empire my cute little tori bell lashes mug that i bought i just think it's so so cute so cute so this coffee, if you are looking for a really good flavored coffee, highly, highly recommend. I actually have 10% off for you guys with Coffee Over Cardio. You can buy their cute clothes, coffee. She's even got some coffee creamers and things like that. So highly recommend. It is a small business. So at this time, especially, it's great to try to support a small business. So the code's here on the screen and everything's down below, but you guys have to pick up this Coffee Over Cardio. Treats. Okay, come here. Come here, come over here with your sister. Right over here, buddy, hey. All right, they're gonna get their whimsies, which is one of their very, very favorites. Can you sit for mama? Diesel, sit. Good boy. Sit square, oh, good job. There you are, guys. All right, guys, it's afternoon snack time. It's just before three, I'm getting a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna have a scoop of my Primal Kitchen Collagen Fuel and Peanut Butter. You guys know I love this. It is so good. This is my favorite little protein shake, pick me up afternoon snack. So this has a fantastic ingredients. It's going to give you a dose of collagen and it also gives you 11 grams of protein. It is two smart points per scoop. Anything Primal Kitchen has fabulous ingredients. I love them. I do have 10% off for Primal Kitchen. I'll put that code here on the screen. There's a link down below. I love it, as you guys know. So I use their marinade, I'm using their collagen fuel. I am going to order some other flavors, but right now I'm just loving this peanut butter. And then I have one cup of my Forager Organic Dairy-Free Cashew Milk. You guys know this is my favorite milk alternative. And then I pop that here into my magic bullet and I've got one frozen banana and a bag of frozen spinach. So let's blend this up and make ourselves a protein shake. Right there it is. I know it's green, but I promise you, you cannot even taste the spinach in there. Look how beautiful that is. So there she is. There is my protein shake for this afternoon. So it's two points for the collagen fuel from Primal Kitchen. Definitely check out their website with the link below. And two points for the Forager cashew milk. Now, of course, you could lower the points if you use a less pointed almond milk or 
milk alternative, but I love the Forager. So this is my four smart point afternoon snack. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to be making a loaded wedge salad. This is one of my favorite salads when I go out to dinner. And usually you guys, you'd be shocked at the calories, the fat, the points in a wedge salad. So I'm making a WW friendly but clean eating wedge salad. I can't wait to share this with you guys. And then we are pairing that with that chicken that I marinated in the Primal Kitchen marinade. So let me show you what's in our wedge salad. First, you're going to need some apple cider vinegar. Of course, a big head of iceberg lettuce, non-fat Greek yogurt. You can use whole milk Greek yogurt. I decided to go with non-fat just to save on the points because this is kind of a point heavy dinner. And then also some cherry tomatoes, hard boiled eggs, bacon. I'm going to be using the private selection center cut because you can have two slices for one point. This is one of my favorite bacons. You'll need a shallot, salt and pepper blue cheese crumbles, green onion, and then of course I have my chicken breast. They've been marinating in that marinade all day. So let's get started on dinner. The first thing I did is went ahead and put all of my bacon on a sheet pan. I like to cook this in my oven at 400. It's the quickest cleanup, the less messy cleanup. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my bacon started. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But holy moly, look at this. So we are having a huge storm. Can you guys see the rain? It is like huge rain. They're saying even quarter size hail. Isn't that crazy? Look at out there on the basketball court. Look at that rain, holy moly. Okay, sorry, back to dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bacon in the oven. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get these sliced in half to make them a little thinner. We've gotta cut up the cherry tomatoes, the green onions, the shallot, and we even have to go ahead and chop our head of lettuce in half. So we got some chopping to do. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? chicken I'm gonna go ahead and spray my skillet here with some non-stick cooking spray we're gonna go ahead and add our pieces of chicken I actually have four now that I went ahead and cut them a little thinner I like them thin sliced and they cook a lot faster that way so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cooking on the stovetop so we're gonna go ahead and put together the dressing and we'll just set this aside while the chicken and the bacon cook. So in a bowl here, I'm going to do one half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. So we're making our own low point blue cheese dressing, which is awesome. And then to that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our shallot that we chopped up and very, very finely. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar one ounce of blue cheese crumbles and then just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt and then we're going to mix this together and this is going to be the dressing for our wedge salad all right i just pulled out the bacon our chicken is just about done and then we'll put together the wedge salad pop on a piece of chicken and we have dinner all right, so for the salad, I went ahead and pulled out the wedges of lettuce. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put one whole wedge here on my plate. When you go to eat the salad is when you chop it up with your fork and a knife to actually create more of a salad. It starts out as a wedge. And you could lay it on its side. I mean, you could do whatever. I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine and I'm gonna pull out the center, which is not the good part of the head of lettuce. And then we're literally adding all of our goodies to the top of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add half of my little cherry tomatoes that I went ahead and sliced up. And again, when you cut this up into actual like little pieces of lettuce, when you go to eat it, you're gonna get those veggies mixed in. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna to top it with some of these green onions as well. And then we are going to go ahead and take 
three pieces of our cooked bacon. It is three slices of bacon per wedge salad. The recipe makes two salads. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three slices crumbled up on my salad, and then I'll do the other three for my husband. And then I have one hard boiled egg in my little handy egg slicer here. And I'm gonna go ahead and slice that egg. And that is going to go on top as well. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. I probably could just have this for dinner. I mean, it looks that amazing and delicious. So there's our wedge salad. And the last step is to add some dressing. But I'm going to go ahead and grab my breasted chicken. Then I'll top it with half of the dressing. Because again, it makes two servings. And I'll be back to show you dinner and give you the smart points. So here is dinner. So there's that wedge salad. It looks delicious. That's a ton of dressing, which is super exciting. Some bacon, eggs. So you have a little bit of protein with your salad. And then my breast of chicken. So my chicken is actually zero points and my wedge salad using non-fat greek yogurt is six smart points and that covers the dressing with the blue cheese the bacon the egg all the things so this is a six smart point dinner for dessert tonight i'm going to be having one of the siggy zero percent orange and ginger i do have to eat these up they i think they expired today so i'll have one today i have one more left and i'll have that tomorrow these yogurts are so good they have wonderful ingredients Literally perfect ingredients. There are three smart points. And then I'm going to put just the tiniest bit of this birthday cake granola. I'm gonna put one point's worth, which is about a tablespoon, a little over a tablespoon. This is from Safe and Fair. It is delicious. Now it has decent ingredients. There are a couple of things. I think it has natural flavors, which is something that I don't really love to see. Yeah, it has natural flavor, but other than that, it's really good granola. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about a tablespoon of that onto my yogurt. I do have this in my Amazon store and the link for that is in the description box. So that's going to be four smart points for dessert and all I'm eating for the rest of today. Thank you so much for joining me on What I Eat Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the food that I had throughout today. That dinner recipe was amazing. That marinade is on the Primal Kitchen website and there is a 10% discount code down in the description box for the Primal Kitchen website. There's also a discount for the coffee over cardio. There are so many great discounts down in the description box so make sure you're checking that out. Also in the description box is the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you come and join our community. It's such a fun supportive place to be. Also is the link to my website. All the good things happen in the description box. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the little button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload most days of the week and Wednesday is always what I eat in a day Wednesday. Give this video a big thumbs up if you loved it and leave your comments down below. I wanna hear from you guys, how are things going? Which of these products that I showed you are you dying to get your hands on? And of course, overall, just how things are going for you during quarantine. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye friends. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh -huh.